How are you? It's um, Brian McIntyre again, um, sitting with a different instrument, a uh, banjo. One of the things I'm going to uh, do with some of these lessons too is um, because I've, um, when I'm teaching actually along with teaching on the guitar, I also teach on bass, the banjo and the ukulele. I'm going to sort of approach uh, a couple of um, lessons sort of on each each of these other instruments and the way I'm going to approach them is sort of saying, okay, you know, um, like me, you're a guitar player and you've just acquired, um, you've just acquired a banjo, you know, so uh, you've taken it out of uh, the case and um, you got it tuned up and you're thinking, okay, so this is a whole different animal here. What am I going to do with this? Um, I'm going to talk about just a couple of like just simple things uh, to get you started here. All right. Um, one of the things, if you're coming from a background of playing guitar, uh, that's going to be a real change with the banjo is these picks. Um, some of you have probably done some stuff on the guitar before using a thumb pick, and maybe some of you have used some of these finger picks. But uh, when you pick up a banjo, even if you've had a background in playing finger style guitar, it's a real sort of a change because you're not really getting a sense for where the strings are. I mean, if I'm playing with my bare fingers, I can feel for where the strings are, but when I'm using these picks, I'm getting a little bit of, uh, I like to call it the long distance feeling, a little bit. All right, um, now, um, just quickly to go over um, how to set these picks up, um, one of these things actually I learned uh, the hard way when I was teaching my first banjo lesson, which I really didn't have a right to teach at the time, I went through uh, the lesson with these two finger, these two picks on backwards. So um, I assumed, sort of coming from a guitar background, that okay, these are going to act like my nails, so I'm going to have them the other way around. Well, no, <laughs> that's not how they work. Your uh, fingerprint is actually going to be on the back of the pick. So I'm going to have them sort of set this way. All right, and the thumb pick, it's pretty um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, how that works. All right, now, um, I'm also going to teach you your first chord on the banjo. All right, um, now, you know, watch closely. This is a tricky one. All right, I'm going to go. That's a G chord. All right, when you're playing all of the strings open, um, when you've got the banjo in standard tuning, that's a G chord. All right, now, um, so what I want to, um, want to sort of cover here is a couple of just simple kind of basic, what are called like banjo rolls or picking patterns that are really good to sort of start out with. And they really sort of give you a feel for basically where the strings are and working with, um, sort of the finer points of, uh, of your right hand. Okay. So when I'm, um, uh, the first rule I'm going to show you is something called uh, the alternating thumb roll. All right. And um, I don't want to use a bad uh, pun here, but I'll say the, kind of like a rule of <coughs> thumb, uh, sorry, with the banjo, is that the thumb is going to basically cover the fifth string, the fourth, and the third. And with this roll in particular, my index finger is going to play the second string, and my middle finger is going to play the first string. All right. And um, the thumb is going to be charged with jumping between the third string, the fourth and the fifth. So with this alternating thumb roll, um, what the thumb's going to be doing is if I just sort of isolate the thumb for a second, I'm going to be playing three, five, four, five three, five, four, five. Okay, that's why it's called the alternating thumb roll. And the index finger and the middle finger are going to be locked on to the, the second string and the first string. All right, and um, I'll, I'll go through this pattern. I'll sort of combine um, all of the strings and then we'll sort of go over sort of the string numbers you're playing here. Now here's what it's going to sound like. I'm going to do...
So if I go it through it slowly, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one, three, two, five, one, four, two, five, one. All right. So that's what's called again your alternating thumb roll. And um, what you want to do, like with anything else you're learning, like um, any kind of a new pattern, regardless of the instrument you're playing, start out with it really slowly. And then as you get more comfortable with it, you'll start to find, hey, this kind of works. This is kind of neat. All right. So that's your first roll. Again, that's called the alternating thumb roll which um, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna have a, a PDF with this video, which is gonna have both this roll and the other one I'm gonna show you now, which is what's called the forward backward roll. Okay, and I'm gonna use the same sort of idea with um, lining my, um, my right hand up, where again, the thumb is gonna be responsible for the third, fourth, and fifth strings, the index on the second string, and the middle finger on the first string. All right, and uh, sort of the premise with this roll is I'm going to do uh, the forward part of it is I'm going to start from the third string. I'm going to go three, two, one, five. Okay, so three, two, one, five. That's the forward. Then when I go backwards, I'm going to go one, two, three. So I've got three, two, one, five, one, two, three. And, you know, if we count through that, I've played seven notes there, or like seven eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To complete the, the roll, I'm gonna add the first string at the end. So it's gonna be three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. Three, two, one, five, one, two, three, one. All right. So, uh, and that again is what's called the forward and backward roll. Um, and um, as you get into like some other um, learning, like some other chords on the banjo, which uh, I'm probably going to cover in another video. Um, you can use these rolls, both of these, on any of these other chords, and they'll sound great. All right, so, um, so if I go over these again, I've got the alternating thumb roll, which I'll play twice, and then the forward-backward roll. Okay, so that's, um, that's the two rolls. Now, um, when you get comfortable with, with these, um, and like any sort of a new role that uh, you end up learning on the banjo, uh, a really neat thing to do then is to start to train your hand to be able to switch between each of the rolls. All right? Um, and uh, like a really simple way to do this is let's say, um, like I'll give you an example. There's any number of ways you can do this, but I always like to do this sort of in patterns of four. So what I'm going to do is play each roll four times and then switch. Go to the next roll and again do that four times. And um, emphasizing to at the beginning, really keep this slow till you know, your hand sort of uh, starts to get used to it. So if I do this really slowly, here's what it's going to sound like. My alternating thumb roll. third time and a fourth time and now I'm going to do the forward backward roll second time and a third time do it once more and alternating thumb done that more than four times but uh, you get the idea and here's the fourth one on this one and forward backward roll and last 
Okay, so that's your, um, that's two really simple kind of a rolls, but you'll really find that um, when you're first working with this, uh, you know, you're really going to find that, especially with, um, well, with the thumb and even the index and the middle finger, you'll start to find that uh, at first your right hand's going to every string except for the right one. Perfectly normal. Um, it really, it really does take some getting used to sort of working with this, right? But once you get sort of the feel for where the strings are and, you know, you sort of get uh, comfortable with each of these rolls and also sort of combining them, going from one to the other, um, you know, you'll start to find that then you can pick up the speed a little bit. And um, what I find is these rolls, uh, they're very similar to um, whether it's like you're learning a finger picking pattern on the guitar or a strumming pattern. What will happen is after a while, like you'll go from like thinking of each individual note to thinking of the whole pattern. And then you won't, you won't be thinking like string numbers or anything. It'll just be like a, a pattern that'll be pretty much committed to muscle memory. All right. And so that's, um, that's the end of my first lesson on uh, the banjo. Um, hope you got something out of this. And if there's, um, again, different things uh, you'd like me to cover within these lessons, whether it's on the guitar, the banjo, or even eventually we're gonna, I'm gonna do some lessons with uh, the bass guitar and with the ukulele. Um, anything that I can help you out with on those, let me know, whether it's like a technique or even a song, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so this has been uh, Brian McIntyre again, and uh, thanks a lot for your time, and uh, hope to see you again real soon. Take care.